Well, hey guys, and welcome to this episode of me playing TF2 with me, to me PDG. In this episode, I will be, of course, playing an engineer uh, with the Southern Hospitality, which is the wrench I am using and swinging around like a crazy bastard, uh, the Widowmaker, and the Wrangler. Uh, this is a setup I use most often when I play engineer. Uh, it does all right. It's it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, as in, I I'm talking out my ass. If if you have a better uh, setup that you like to use as an engineer, go ahead and use it. I don't really care. Um, but anyways, so I'm setting up everywhere, trying to make sure my team has some sort of cover while we cap this point. Although we are covered by a sniper, so I mean, it should be doing all right. I should have just. Right off the bat, gone ahead and put a teleporter right at the second spawn, uh, or forward spawn for mid, instead of just putting it right at the beginning, because that just makes it feel like you forfeited, really. You gave up, and we're like, my team, they're, they're not gonna push out. We're not gonna do this at all. I'm gonna need to make sure that they can get to your second spawn. But, I don't know. Maybe I just don't have enough faith in my team. Maybe I'm just an experienced player. I don't know. But killing that dumb man with some nice, neat shots on him. Make sure he knows not to try and mess with my stupid sentry gun. Uh, although a spy also needs to be taught not to mess with my dispenser gun because I need my dispenser gun. I don't need my sentry gun. But, um,. So I'm moving up. I suspect that that guy is the spy. I was like, well, alright, fine. I guess I'll give it a shot. So I, he and I do this little dance where he's just sapping my sentry. I don't really care. I just want the points. Uh, and so once that's over, I give him a nice little 35 sh uh, points of damage. Because, I mean, he took a lot of damage from hitting him with that wrench. Um, so just that 35 is enough to kill him. Took him down. No big problemo. Accidentally took that guy's health, so I you know, plopped down dispenser. The nicest thing to do. Make sure that I can reliably fall back on the sentry by building it up just a little bit. That dispenser is still building, and I keep trying to run back to it. Like, why can't I get any stupid metal out of this But whatever. Able to help this medic get away from a spy by killing him. Able to kill a demo man, I believe it was. And right now I'm trying to figure out where's the best location for this uh, sentry gun that I can wrangle it with. So I plop it down right behind a heavy, because what's better than a wall, right? So I plop that down. Decided to send a couple shots at that guy. He hits it with a crit. Don't know if you saw that. Hit it with a critical rocket. But luckily, crits do not affect um, sentries. Able to get the other soldier who came in from the flank with my Wrangler. A lot of action going on here. Uh, or at least more than I expected. Building this up. Want to make sure that it is completely level 3. Get that up. So now I've just got a pretty decent wall of sentry behind me, and, and uh, that's pretty much what you need with a Wrangler. Although I really wish this medic had somebody to heal, because he was healing me, and I, I'm not going to run out there and risk my ass. Risk my ass. Risk my ass to, uh, to make sure that the... Am I trying to say? Completely lost my train of thought with that risk my ass thing. Anyways. So, lost that battle to the spy, but ultimately won the battle against the spy. Uh, won the war. That's what's important. Gonna plop down a dispenser somewhere. Probably in the same place that I had it last time. Make sure this guy's in a spy, because yeah, I just had to fight one of those guys. My sentry protects both me and that demo man from a critical rocket, so I'm sure he, he was happy about that. I was pretty happy about that. I was like, oh shit, that's a rocket, and then I jumped back, and my sentry took the blow for me. I was like, yes! 
And so I get the hell out of there, decide maybe I should back off just a little bit. The sentry location I had is not doing so well, my dispenser is getting destroyed as I speak. Um, and uh, I see this medic running back, so I am anticipating somebody to run out there. Luckily that scout did, otherwise I would have been like, that medic's a spy! And then shot at the medic. And then it would have been still the medic on my team, I would have been completely wrong. And so I look at that guy and make sure he's not a spy, he didn't seem to care, and I was like, oh, why do we have three engineers? Whatever, I guess, it doesn't matter. So a stupid uber comes in, because why the hell not? Uh, I try and get my medic to follow me way back here, and I see that soldier going to the left, and so I decide to put down a sentry out here just in case he comes out here. It'll slow down his momentum for sure. So they're taking down sentry guns left and right, they've already taken down mine, and they took down that level 3 that was uh, to the right of me. And so that's not cool with me. So I need to make sure that my sentry does not go down, takes down a scout, but luckily, it seemed like everyone survived, the medic and the engineer seemed like they were pretty okay. So, good round for my team so far. We haven't lost anyone too important. Gonna plop down a dispenser right here, just in case anyone comes out and needs it. They'll have full access to it. Got my level 3 anyways, so I can fully protect it from everything. Get back here like that. Spencer and the MR, build up all my things. And yeah. So I luckily turned and saw that uh, spy uncloak. Sorry that nothing else really goes on when this stuff gets built, but luckily I got that spy. He was an idiot and uh, blew himself up really. I don't want to say an idiot, but a little harsh. But uh, he I guess he just thought he was a little more clever than he was. But, um, but I should have been able to pick up that dispenser. I booked it. I, that was a clutch decision. I really shouldn't have made it. I should have grabbed that dispenser, dispenser, dispenser and ran. Um, but whatever. I'm still able to get the heavy while he was distracted with my sentry gun. And I didn't even really waste any ammo. So, that was great. Plopped down a sentry, but that gets taken down immediately. Get hit by a spy, but he's not a problem. And um, the most fail with a Widowmaker you'll ever see, ever. No meat shots. Losing half my ammo every single time. <sighs> it, was, it was pretty terrible. Swing my wrench like an idiot. That's why not. Uh, at this point, another mistake I made. I should have plopped down an exit somewhere before running all the way back to spawn. And that way I could have just plopped down a sentry while both the uh, teleporter entrance and exit were building and then have a sentry ready to plop down the very second I got out of there. But, whatever. I had plopped down this sentry, plopped down a teleporter, or not a teleporter, a dispenser, rather. And, uh, at this point, <laughs> another mistake. I always forget that I can just walk around the thing. like what I'm doing now. I can get away from my sentry and wrangle at people and actually have a sight on it instead of just firing wildly in general directions. But whatever. So the spy gets away, not a big problem. Able to just quickly rebuild everything again. Did absolutely nothing to stop me and this engineer who stays here for the rest of the match. Um, believe it or not, he builds that level 3, or maybe he doesn't. Was it him or somebody else? I know at some point during this match, there was just an engineer who had a level 3 on mid, and just stood and stared at it, even though we were pushed up way past it. We were trying to cap last, and he was just like, nope, I'm gonna stay here and watch my sentry. So this time I decided to go for the spy before, uh, breaking the sapper. Didn't really work out. He was able to man or he was able to take down my sentry gun, but it really didn't matter. Plenty of ammo all over the place. Able to upgrade it again and even get a another engineer to help me out because he's a bro. 
tried to say thank you, but I accidentally pulled out my ring blade, and then, then I said thanks. And then he also had upgraded my dispenser to level 3, and so I was like, oh, thanks, man. So, yeah, this is definitely not the guy who just stared at his sentry the entire rest of the match, but he is a bro, despite wearing gifts. So anyways, I'm gonna try and plop everything down, I think I finally put down a teleporter exit. Put down a teleporter exit. Not on the stairs, you idiot! Arrgh. Whatever. So, rush back, try and wrench that heavy, make sure he's not a spy. Sometimes it happens. I haven't seen any spy kills lately, you know. Don't want to make sure... That don't want to make sure. I want to make sure that I don't see any your eternal reward spies in my back anytime soon. And speak of the devil, spy comes along. That sentry is completely gone. So I get the hell out of there. Waste of level 3, but at least I didn't die and easily rebuild a level 3. I've got a dispenser up. And somehow my teleporter got destroyed. Or my teleporter exit got destroyed, which. I suppose it wasn't really that surprising, it didn't have much cover. It was on top of the stairs. <sighs> that was a stupid placement. But whatever, I built up this guy's uh, dispenser because he healed me. I needed some help. What else do you want? That's the reason behind that one. Um, there's no lead strategy in there. Anymore. But, um, <laughs> so anyways, a uh, meta comes by. I'm gonna hopefully soon build something, like a sentry, or maybe even a teleporter, or anything. There you go. Good job, Tim. You did something kinda smart once. So I'm just checking the parameters, see how far I can shoot this thing. Can't even fire it up the stairs, apparently. It'll go about that far. It'll shoot down the stairs. So I decided to move it up. Like, that's, that's not a good place for it. So, start firing it, or building it up. Finally decide to build a teleporter, maybe? Yes! Good job, Tim! Brownie points for you. That's all you need. All you need is brownies. So, there's a pyro, I believe, firing at my sentry gun. And so I try to get him with my range, just out of range of the sentry. It fires at the door instead of where I'm looking at, because... I had a better vantage point, but whatever. And so, the, finally, the spy that I'd been destroying the entire game kills me, and that that's the way the cook crumbles. So this is Timmy PTG. Subscribe, rate, comment. I'll see you in the next video, which may probably not be uh, Foundry. So look forward to that one, uh, and I'll catch you later. Okay, bye. Uh, bye.